lately I've just not been myself. Um, you may hear a fan in the background. It's, I'm hot as fuck right now. Um, but lately, you know, electronics have not been working too well for me, you know. My computer is fucked up. I'm on my sister's computer. You know, my webcam now is broken. As you can fucking see here, it's broken. Um, my iPod is it's cool. My phone, cool. But mechanically, myself, I'm not all that good. Mm -mm. Lately, in my head, I've been going through some stuff, and I realize now that I have to be who I used to be. And I wouldn't say that that person is the unhappy me. I would just say that that person was the one who didn't give a fuck, who wore what he wanted, said what the fuck he wanted, did what the fuck he wanted, and didn't give a damn. And I think I've lost that. And the reason why my friend Ashley asked me, she said, well, why you left it? And I told her, it's simple. Because I felt, and I was pressured to believe that I had to live a certain type of way in order to make it in life. Yo, fuck all that. I'm not doing it anymore. I used to be the kind, the type to go to school and went, what the fuck I wanted and say what the fuck I wanted and didn't have a, didn't give a fuck when no one thought about it. And I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to revert back to that. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to have to get my shit together. I'm going to have to do everything that it is I have to do. Because right now, all I can hold on to is that old Nate. Priceless, nasty mate, black magic, whatever my fucking name was back then. I was trying to find an identity, and I found it. Priceless Jackson. And um, I'm going back to that mate that just did him, who literally did him. Fuck all the insecurities and the setbacks and the, and all that other shit that I'm dealing with now. As of now, you know what I mean? I'm not doing anymore. I can't. I, I Physically, mentally, emotionally, I can't live my life, like, according to everyone else's rules. You know, when I was going to Atlanta Tech, trying to get my GED, I, went, I, I, I first entered the visual communications. I said, you know, maybe I'll maybe I do well in that. And I kind of was. And then... I got my GED and I just wasn't focused on school like I was supposed to and um, then I went into culinary arts. I went to school, college, quote unquote, to get my GED and then after I got it, I, I didn't really give a fuck anymore, to tell you the truth. I thought I had to go because it was going to make everyone else proud, but it really wasn't what I wanted to do at, at the time. And now, me being 22, going on 23, I see that, yeah, I should have stayed in school. But I was going for all the wrong reasons. Now that I want to go back to school, I fucked myself raw with an AIDS-infected dick with no lubrication, no gun. And I have a big debt that I have to pay back in order for me to go back to school and get financial aid. But... I know that that's going to be a big hurdle. I'm not, I don't want to ask my cousin for nothing in the world. Because everyone asks him for money. And it's like right now, I don't have money to pay him back. But I want to pay him back. And that's the thing, you know. And um, I want to get the fuck out of here. I'm lazy as fuck. I'm insecure. i am got all these walls built up. And it's just like, I'm sitting here on the floor in the living room, and I'm not contemplating anything stupid or nothing. Don't, suicide thought, you know, I've, I've, I've left that in the past, but, um, 
I just have to do what the old Nate would do. Like Nikki said, bring back old Nikki. Well, I got to bring back old Nate. And a lot of people aren't going to like him. Because he's the fuck you type of person. And I think my music is going to reflect in that. And right now, my uncle is trying to get me, um, you know, he sees something in me that I don't see. I see it in, I see it in, 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 in um, a fantasy, but I don't see it in reality. And he sees something in me. He sees an opportunity in me. And I have to be that type of Nate that I once was before, the one who didn't give a fuck, in order to make this work, in order to make these things happen. Because he sees something in me. He sees, he sees talent and genius in me genius in me and um i'm gonna have to let go of old of the of the nate now you know of course i have these walls built up but i have to let go of my insecure wall my self-doubting wall my uh, self-loathing wall them three walls i really have to let go and make it easy for the next Make it easier for whoever it is that's trying to get my heart. Because um, my father fucked my heart over. My mother fucked my heart over. Men have fucked my heart over. Family have fucked my heart over. I fucked my heart over. So-called friends have fucked my heart over. But I'm ready for love. I am ready for love, all of the joy and the pain. And you know, whoever you are, whoever you are out there, if you are watching this video, let me know who you are. Are you the one God sent for me? Please let me know. Because I'm sick of this. I'm sick of myself. I'm sick of the new one, the new mate that I am, you know. I guess I'm going to go out here. It's what time? 1 on 1 a.m.? I guess I'll go outside and walk. And then come home, go to sleep. Because I, I need to breathe. I need to get out of this house. And I did spend the weekend with my sister, well, at least, you know, Friday and Saturday. Hey, sis, I love you. It was wonderful being spending time with you, you know. Um, one on one with just me and you, which we have not had in a while, in forever. And um, I got to learn her, and she got to learn me, and it was it was a touching, touching moment. And it makes me respect her even more as a woman, as a sister, as a mother, as a daughter. It makes me respect her even more, and even though. Me and her have had our trials and tribulations. I still love her. And I'm finna cry now. Lord have mercy. Help me. Gee! I'm finna, you know, I, her birthday was this Thursday. was last Thursday. And we celebrated her birthday Saturday. And I was there with her Friday and Saturday. You know, I, I love her to death. And I thank God for bringing her, bring, bringing her closer. Because, you know... I think God is doing things right now that letting me know, okay, uh, fool, some things are going to happen and you need certain people in your life. And I'm going to cry again. Um, but he's brought my Uncle Rodney back, in, you know, brought my Uncle Rodney in my life. He, he and I, or I, I don't know, I guess I myself have always felt a certain type of tension with him. But me and him had one-on-one -on -one conversations and... You know, he, again, sees something in me. And he wants me to go go for it. And he wants to be there. And he wants, he sees an opportunity. And I thank God for him as well. And my Uncle Cedric, you know, he always, he always sees something in me. You know, he, the, the reason why I sing better and get better and better is because he always, he lets me know, look, Nate, you have it. And it's amazing when you have someone like that in your life. My father never told me, but my uncles, 
Uncle Rodney, Uncle Cedric, have always told me you have it. And my Aunt Bone, I love her to death. My uncle, I said uncle. My cousin Derek and my cousin Daryl, I love them. I love my whole family. And if you're down for me like you, like you say you are, or if you haven't said it, you know, and to all my um, people on Facebook and to all my people on YouTube and if you see this on Twitter or Tumblr, uh, you know, I've never, I've always been the black sheep. Hell, I see that I'm, a, I'm the black sheep on social networks too. Like, God damn. I can't get no love out nowhere. But, um, <laughs> it's all love though. It's all love. I love all my enemies. I love all my, um, I love all my enemies and my allies. You know what I mean? Got nothing but love for everybody. So I'm going to get off this thing before I just have a big ass crap ass on this damn computer. Um, I'm going to go out here and walk to the mailbox probably and put my headphones and just walk because I need to walk. Um, so much love. The shows that are happening on May 1st, you know, I fucked that up. Story of my life. I fuck up everything. But, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot more going on in my life. I know this. There's going to be a lot more things going on in my life. And y'all just stick around. I have more updates and all that other good shit. Love you. Good night. Good morning. Good evening. Good brunch. Whatever the hell. Uh, um, good evening. Good night. Good afternoon. Good morning. Most importantly, love you. Because who in the hell else will? Oh, and one more thing. If someone has something to say about you, or someone has an opinion about you, this is what you simply say. Norm. Deuces.